Hello everyone, my name is Felix Rodriguez with the Kearney Builder Performance Lab and today we're going to read out data from a then power meter using the e-log software. We want to go ahead and click on logger and retrieve data from logger. Let's go ahead and click here and now it's going to ask us basically uh, um, where to save it uh, and as you can see here we have a, a e-log file which is the software file uh, that of the, the default file that it brings and also you want to make sure that at the bottom you have checked off create a ACS uh, as you can see CSV file so it will actually create a CSV file that you can use in a different software let's change the name to electric panel and once we're ready we want to go ahead and click uh, save Let's wait for the data to download from the meter. All right, here we go. This is our uh, table data, which is also the same way your CSV file will will look. Uh, if we want to go ahead and visualize this let's click on create graph and now um, we're going to go ahead and select uh, a line 5 which is the power 5 which sums up all the three uh, three faces so this one basically sums up line 1 2 and 3 we're going to click next this is the default um, graph type and graph parameters um, that we're going to go ahead and use let's just select line but you can see how there's different ones and let's click on finish and now it's going to generate a graph a line graph basically of the data and that we have retrieved here we go so this is our trailer number four uh, power consumption now we can basically uh, hover over and zoom in uh, in the data and start uh, basically analyzing and and investigating um, um, this in this case uh, this chiller number four there we go guys we have just um, read out data from uh, then power meter using the e-log software perfect thanks